It works like magic. In 2011, Apple was on a roll. Products that caught fire included the MacBook Air, a thinner, faster iPad, and the iPhone 4S, which introduced us to Siri. Okay, here's a place matching on the day. It was also the last time visionary Steve Jobs took the stage. 2012 marked mobility as we saw Tesla unveil its Model S, the launch of ride-sharing company Lyft, and Google debut a driverless car. I even took it for a spin. This is incredible. 2013 saw virtual worlds dominate. Sony PlayStation 4 made a splash, and Google debuted Glass. But with a price tag of $1,500, you can say the Glass never went mass. In 2014, it seemed we all needed a little help in the form of an AI personal assistant, Amazon's Alexa. The time is 327. Inspired by the computer voice on board Star Trek Starship Enterprise, Alexa offered real-time information and followed commands. Alexa, add wrapping paper to the shopping list. I put wrapping paper on your shopping list. Speaking of space, 2015 was all about the heavens. Samsung's Galaxy 6 impressed critics, and SpaceX's Falcon 9 successfully landed back on Earth, marking a major achievement in reusable engines. In 2016, more wearables gave us Apple's AirPods and the first commercial version of the Oculus Rift before Facebook bought it. In 2017, Tesla's Model 3 changed the conversation around electric cars, making them more accessible and design-wise more desirable. If it was a convertible you were after, 2018 had Microsoft flexing its 2-in-1 Surface Pro 6 PC. Ultra light and versatile were its selling points. Where you can use at your desk, where you can use on your lap. 2019 gave us the Magic Kingdom's foray into streaming. Disney Plus debuted, quickly becoming a rival to Netflix. In 2020, the year of the pandemic, Uber Eats generated $4.8 billion in revenue, and Peloton sales exploded more than 170%, bolstering the home fitness industry. It all brings us to 2021, where we can expect more cloud, more AI, more quantum computing, 5G, and more. And oh, that $100 in Bitcoin you bought a decade ago, it's now worth around $5 million. Congratulations. Emily Chang, Bloomberg, San Francisco.